put on the agenda that I need a Homeland Security grant approved. And I said, well, I need a little bit more than that. And he said, I'll get it to you Tuesday. In the future, tell him to contact me because he needs to run some of that through me. And I honestly don't know which grant myself he's talking about. I don't, he didn't give me any numbers, any figure, any anything. So I that's, I, I don't know just other than. In the future, just tell him he needs to run that through me. Then you will get. I will refer him. Okay. All right. Okay, if there's no more questions about the new business, I'll need a motion to approve it as listed on the agenda. So I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Well, I wrote that date down. Where did I write it? Okay, I do want to say one thing during closing. Uh, we have been contacted by Region 2 about a broadband planning grant, and she needs us to um, have two public hearings on it. If it is all right with you all, could we have the first public hearing to discuss the grant on September 19th at 5.30 before our next meeting? Is that good? When is that? September 19th at 5.30. At 5.30. We'll have that public hearing. Do you have any details on that at all? Well, she's going to come get it to us and then we'll present it and everything before the... Because I've had some contact from a, a, a regional company that has that's interested in partnering with us to do some stuff there also. And I met with them last week and I'm waiting for details from them. So this might be something that could work hand okay, this in hand. Is going, you know, Region 2 is going to... They're going to administer the grant there, right? right. Now they have to, the reason we're doing it in, at this rate is that it has to be in by the end of the month. The application does that. Right? Yes, mm -hmm. September thirtieth. She said yes. Okay, that's all I have to say. What time was it going to be on the twenty sixth? Did we say? Yeah, I'd probably well, five thirty and six because you got to yeah. do the public hearing, then you got to have an actual quick meeting to. To approve everything. There's a meeting on the 26th? There will be now, yeah. Okay. But it's just for this. And that's the second public hearing yeah. of this broadband application. Okay. If there's nothing else, then I need a motion to adjourn until our next, or until this meeting, actually, at 12 30, but we have our uh, regular commission meeting scheduled on the 19th at 6. I would like to give Dr. Vance some from the four weeks of the journey. Okay. Uh, it's often every county commissioner has something they're interested in. Every county commissioner has something that they have talked to their residents about and this was something I want you to read the highlighted area there. And uh, this is um from the Public Service Commission. From the Public Service Commission. The Commission reviewed the August 28, 2019 WTAA FRC recommendation and as evident by the initials of the individual commissioners above, approves the grant funding for the Lincoln County Project to be located at Midkiff in Lincoln County, West Virginia, TAF Lincoln 18A in the amount of $565,000. Please distribute the funds to the Lincoln County Commission after the grant agreement has been properly submitted. Grant agreement was filed Monday. So, what was the total again? Five hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. There's your. Oh yeah, thanks. Thirty-nine. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, AT and T's already signed. Got a contract ready, and we couldn't sign the contract with AT and T until we had the money to build the tower. Uh, expect tower construction to begin by September fifteenth, and it'll be done by Valentine's Day. Right. Fantastic. Right. 
it's a, it's a long time coming, and I sure appreciate your help with this. And those people over there, well, you know. You know oh, yeah. It, it has been a long time coming, and so that's, that'll be our fifth grant that we've received under the Tower Assistance Fund, and it's been a very, very, very good program for this county. Yeah. 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 And uh, so just to be abundantly clear, because Commissioner Matthews took issue with this in the past, this is a county tower, correct? For county communicate for county communications on which AT and T will. We are building a communications structure. Right. Thirty thousand dollars for environmental study. There's a building being constructed at the base of the tower, and the total cost is five hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. That includes the steel, uh -huh. and that includes the foundation. Or be abundantly clear right. there. But it's it does not include the first piece of cellular reception right. equipment on that site. But we have a contract in hand that will be presented to the commission, hopefully within the next 15 to 30 days, for them to go on that site. But at its, but at its most basic, it's a it is communication a tower owned by the county. That is correct. From on which commercial entities may. May we connect, and we've also had uh, discussion with T-Mobile about them also locating at that site. Thank you. I think Doc, Doc was a little leery of reading that. He didn't <laughs> think he was getting set up. I'm glad he highlighted I wouldn't do that to you. Uh, he read it I, first before he read yeah. it. Wow, I saw it. Well, I just remember it's been three years ago you called me and said, Somebody was in my office, and they've got property at such and low, such location. Talk to them, <laughs> and that's where it started. So it's been three years in the making, and uh, uh, so I was going to bring it to you in a little box tonight because I know it's down there. <laughs> but, uh, so little the box with ribbon on. The site has been acquired. The site has been acquired. The right of way has been signed. We had a little bit of question on the right of way, but uh, uh, we we were able to get right away uh, a good right of way to the site. Okay. Structural analysis has already been done. We've already done some soil samples and started the environmental study. The environmental study, when you build a site, takes 90 days. Okay. Every Indian tribe that ever came close to gracing the area has to sign off and make sure that it's not. What were the two dates you gave? Um, construction? Construction will start on September the 15th. Completion and, and luckily for this, uh, the tower and the foundation work was all recently bid out by Nicholas County with the clause that allows us to purchase off of that bid. So we don't even have to go to bid to make the purchases to spend the money to do this. So it's on the fast track. And uh, we've asked for a quote from the tower company and I think that we'll probably be given a purchase order for steel within the next 30 days. So. Sure appreciate that. Well, thank you for your support with that. And do you think they'll put on the tower cards? I thought so AT&T, AT let's just say AT&T does put on this, do they not have to bounce off of their towers? The AT&T site at Midcap is a microwave hop out of Salt Rock. Okay. We've, already, we've already done the uh, path studies, and we can get to the Salt Rock site from about 250 feet. That Salt Rock site is hot. I mean, it's really How many other providers are on the Salt Rock site? Uh, the Salt Rock site that we own has Shintel and T-Mobile. The site next to it has AT&T. Well, I say Shintel, but Shintel's uh, spread. Oh, <laughs> so how might this affect coverage, Alan, for an AT&T customer? Well, for an AT&T customer, it will mean that they can drive further toward Hearts and not lose service. Okay. 14 Mile Mountain? No. No, 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 no. Not in that frequency range, no. I think I think I think they've I can't I can't give you a hard and fast rule because then someone will hold me to that uh, without engineering studies. But I can tell you that Mary's office has gotten some building permits. There's been other stuff all scattered through there. I think you'll probably see four or five towers built within the next eighteen months in this county. Anything across fourteen mile mountain? Um, we met with. Uh, Signal Point, which does private work for T-Mobile, and that site at Hearts, our site is too far south to be in their ring, and they told me that they had a contract with a landowner in the area of that cemetery going up uh, Harlan Hall Road. 
that's kind of a hot spot. I don't know if it's... That's in the same area as our town, right? It's about four miles, yeah. maybe three and a half or four miles difference, but it's real close. Okay. So the governor's office and the Office of Homeland Security met. They have restored the money to the mitigation project that was diverted to do other things, and now it's back in there. I honestly think that uh, we'll see a whole lot of those projects funded, but the first two houses as part of the mitigation project. Uh, this is a before and after picture of this structure. It was taken down yesterday. It's over there. You've probably already seen it. Uh, see? Yeah. And there's that structure there. Uh, they did tell me that when the Antills house came down today, the inside of the walls were just caked full of mud and mold and whatever. I think it was probably in a lot more shape than maybe they realized. That was an old house, very old house, that they raised a little bit and put new siding and stuff on. So it looked that it was one of those old original company houses through there. It looked a lot better on the outside than it, did, than it was structurally. So both of those are gone. The last pictures there show where the ground has been seeded. Uh, the contractor, like I said, he started uh, Tuesday morning, and I would say that he's done today. So three days uh, and hauled all the stuff out. And before we can pay him, and this is something you had here, before we pay him, he has to present us with the landfill receipts where he physically uh, disposed of the items. And in our clause, we're making 100% sure that they're not taking a house from one location, relocating it somewhere else for it to be a problem for his life. So, uh, we do think we will start meeting within the next two weeks with two more groups, and I think we'll have at least two more groups uh, that we will start meeting with that are going to be approved. So, Sean, if you don't care to report that it's moving forward and there will be two more groups approved hopefully within the next the month, RLS and we will be in contact with those people. Okay. Do you, you really yeah. think you'll hear something in the next month? Yes. Because they've asked us, they've told us, we've had conversations back and forth, and I think the majority of that, and, and don't report this because I don't want to get it, I don't want to get it wrong okay. and be quoted, but I think it's probably going to be that area around Griffinsville, there, oh. there by the high school and all that over there, and then the area at the mountain sugar tree. That would be great. Oh. And, um, and then it looks like that house down at the bend of the river on the hearts end of the county, the one that the river bank slipped away and the nice house sits on the hill and mm -hmm. it's just a matter of time, I think that's going to get approved also. So how far up how far up in the river? A couple of miles. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's a good little ways up there, but the river the, the, the hillside slipped into the river during a flood and the house is it maybe not this year, but eventually it's gonna go right in the river. Yeah. And it's actually a pretty nice house. Mm -hmm. So and I found out what Francis had on his mind. He thought another Homeland Security grant was going to get approved that hadn't got approved. He was just trying to be ahead of the game. Oh. We're uh, waiting on that. Thank you all. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So, um, motion to adjourn until September 19th. Second. We have a motion to second. All in favor, aye. Aye. We stay adjourned. Where is it?